Next, coming to the stage, we have Tommy, the other Tommy. <laughs> Tommy Bryson. Yo. I'm not gonna use this mic. I don't do mics, not today. <laughs> this poem, right, that I wrote was like a spoken word slash story type of stuff. I wrote it while I was on the phone with a person that I really care about. Oh, you can't even hear me in the back. I still gotta use it then. I can take this off, how you take me? All right, all right cool. Um, this poem that I wrote right here is like something that's very close to each and every single one of you. I read it to nine people, nine persons so far. Seven of them people cry, so if you guys wanna cry, go ahead. It's nothing like that, you know what I mean? We all good. I got a paper, let me get the paper just to get the paper for words. It goes like this, fam. I met this man who looks just like me. He had the same dreams I did, but never got them. As I asked him all that happened, he looked at me and said, life happened. I said, what happened to your dreams and ambitions? He says, I grew older, I put them behind me, and I began to forget. As I grew older, I became OK with just passing time and getting by. I asked him, what about your regrets? Do you have any? He smiled and said, of course, don't we all, my child? But more than anything, I regret life itself. I paused for a second as a smile turned to a frown. I couldn't understand how a lovely old man can seem so down. He looked at me, fixed his frown, and questioned my regrets. I looked at him, fixed my face, and stood tall and said, regrets have none till now. He smiled and put his head down. Closed his eyes and looked around. A little shy, a little old, he started looking more and more like an old man. I asked what's wrong. He said nothing, it's just I'm too old. I asked what happened, he said with what? With all the dream and all the passion you had. He smiled and said, where reality hits, everything shifts. And what seems like a sure thing, guess what instead? I still kept at it and asked again, what about your purpose did you forget? He said, I wanted everything but got nothing instead. I looked at him straight in the eyes and I said, did you at least try? He closed his eyes and looked around, even up and down. He said, I must admit, it seemed too hard and I was afraid. Even I began to doubt all my dreams as he spoke. He glanced at me and said, please don't. Don't get shy because of me for I am who you don't want to be. I couldn't believe the words he spoke. I asked him why, he said, because I gave up. He covered his face and started to cry. He said, my child, my life should come to an end. I didn't know this man, but his wounds hurt me too. I tried to see what I could say. I tried to see what I could say. I smiled and said, please don't cry. He said, how could I? For I only have one day to live and enough regrets for a lifetime. I looked at him and I said, what should I do? He, saw, he smiled and said, I'm you. He said, my child, don't look back. You keep going and watch your back. For only one thing matters and that's your life. So spend it doing what you like. For passing time is for the foolish and only those that live will understand. With each word he spoke, his voice got weaker. As he took his final breath, I came to realize that only I had to say. From today to the day I die, I will live with no heartaches inside. Thank you.